Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I am back with another installment of the Squish. We are building a tiny house today using the brand new Decor to the Max kit. And so this is a tiny house in a maximalist or eclectic style. And you're going to see me going back and forth quite a few times on the shape of this house, the color scheme I was going for, because I really wanted to use the new kit, but I wasn't really sure what vibe I wanted to go for. And this ends up being a tiny house for a florist, and it is a very strongly color scheme to be green and pink. And I adore how this comes out. I hope you will enjoy it as well. If you do and you would like to download it, I will make sure to have it up on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffy. G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So right now I'm just trying to figure out the outside shape and figuring out the tiles I want to use on the outside because I did want to use some of the new tiles from the new pack because they're very vibrant and fun patterns and I don't use as much of them on the outside in the end as I thought I was going to. I also really wanted to use the new oh my goodness, wainscoting on the outside to sort of frame out portions of this build to add a little bit more detail. That is an item I'm very excited to have and will definitely be getting a lot of use out of. And then I was very unsure how I wanted the roof to look on this. At first, I have this half gabled roof, but I ended up changing that in the end <laughs> to a different roof. And I think it worked out a lot better in the end. I was just playing around with it and then I really enjoyed this pop of red. And so I was thinking the red against the green and the blue would be really nice. Uh, but in the end, there ends up being no blue here. It's just green and pink. Uh, we will get to that eventually. It just takes a while. And I thought I would include the process so you can see how it came to be. Uh, you might have already seen this because I did stream this over on Twitch first because I do stream a few days a week over on twitch.tv slash misgraffy. It's a lot of fun. And I went in with the idea of eclectic tiny house using the new maximalist kit. And this is what we came up with. It just took a really long time. And it's really fun going into things with having a vague idea of what you want to do, but not like a solid idea. Like, like I said, a vague idea. <laughs> I was like, I know the theme and that's it. We're going to see what inspiration we can get, and it was a lot of fun that way. I do end up pulling the roof out on the top to cover, like, the entire upstairs balcony, which I think works a lot better. It makes the outside look really nice and cohesive. I also tried using some wallpapers on the outside, which I do keep in the end, but not the ones I have now in the place that I have them. I end up using the floral wallpaper over here. This is where you can see I'm starting to figure out the color scheme. I really liked the blue with one of the floral wallpapers as well, but something about this bright a green and pink one just stole my heart and I needed it. Uh, as you can see, we started building here in Oasis Springs, but I do end up moving this to the island in Windenburg a little bit later. It ends up being on the mid nowhere lot. It's not going to say that when we move it. I think it's going to say the name of this lot because I saved it to my library and posted it there. So that is why. Uh, the scenery will change and the name of the lot probably will not. Uh, but you can see I did extend that roof here now and I changed the tiling on the top to be brown. And I'm also playing around a little bit with tool in this build, pretty much just for landscaping, scaling things, shoving them into the ground a little bit so that they made a little bit more sense because floating plants make me very upset in The Sims. So whenever I can fix those, I try to. Uh, and then I decided I wanted to add a little bit more interior space to this house. So I'm adding a bump out over on this side. Uh, we are now in Windenburg. And I thought having some additional house space over towards the side where you're facing the water would be really nice. And this ends up being exactly 100 tiles. So it is just barely a tier 3 tiny home. Uh, a lot of those tiles are like flat pieces I used to get some roof trim and also that outside porch. So. It's actually not that big of a house anyway. Uh, I mean, it is a tiny house, but it's not, it doesn't feel like it's a hundred tiles is what I'm getting at. It is only one bedroom, one bathroom, but I think it ends up super cozy in the end. And I'm just working on the terrain paint. I wanted to have like a pathway leading down to the water. Obviously that lot ends way before the water, but I, I wanted the appearance of that. And then I put some fencing over here to actually put down the florist table because with the wallpapers and colors we were going for, we came up with the idea of this was a sim 
who really likes flowers, growing things, making gardening arrangements. So I wanted to have a little area that has the florist table from Seasons. So I ended up putting that over there. And I think having the wall blocking off that area helps really nicely with having the pathway down to the water because it's sort of blocked. So from most views of this lot, it does look like it's heading down towards the water. It doesn't just abruptly end. So I enjoyed that. Uh, but just getting some more greenery on this lot, trying to make it blend into its surroundings and feel a little bit overgrown, like tucked away here. I really like that look. So just trying to mess around with that. And then I end up getting some planters over here. We're going to work on this gardening space. I have a variety of the different shapes and sizes of them. And then we'll get the gardening table as well and some decorative plants. And I believe the trash can ends up over here a little bit later on in the build. I forgot about it for a while. That's like one of the last things I do. I'm like, did I remember trash cans? Did I remember the mailbox? And then I go through and add those towards the end. So you'll see that later on. <laughs> but there is the florist table, the flower arranging table. I think it's really cute. And those flowers that I put down or plants, I guess they're not so much flowers, are from Snowy Escape. I think those look really nice over there. And then just getting some more lavender and bushes and stuff all around the space. And a couple of rocks as well. I just really wanted it to uh, have a little bit more greenery and I think it worked out really nicely in the end. So you can get upstairs from outside or inside via a ladder and then inside on the top floor there's an area that has a platform with a couple of steps up to it and the reason I did that was because I really wanted to use that pergola on the outside but it clipped into the house on the inside but if you put a platform there it doesn't clip anymore <laughs> so that's why I did that. And I thought it worked out really nicely in the end. And that ends up just being a couple steps up to a couple more like gardening things. I have a couple of decorative plants up there and the tobiary that you can like trim down to whatever plant you would like is in there as well. But we'll get to that a little bit later. Right now we're on the bottom floor. When you first walk in, you're in the kitchen space. Of course, I had to bring that floral wallpaper in here. It is so pretty. And I combined it with these countertops from the Country Kitchen Kits. I also used this love seat from Cats and Dogs in this beautiful pink and yellow swatch. And then the cabinets I used are green and yellow. And I just think they're so nice. I loved the color combination in here. It gives me kind of like grandma chic vibes. And I love that about it. Uh, this was just a lot of fun. Obviously, I used a lot of other items other than just the new kits, but I did use quite a bit from it. Here's that collage of paintings. I'll be getting the big lamp. I love this lamp. I feel like I'm going to be able to use this lamp in like any style of build. It's just really pretty and it has some nice swatches that aren't too loud as well. And then I just got a vase of flowers and we're going to get a table and chairs in here. I had to do the floral. Like, do you, do you not see all the floral everywhere <laughs> and think, you want to know what this needs? More flowers. Uh, so I have a, another flower print in here with this table from <laughs> the Cottage Living Pack. I think it looks really cute. It's very busy in here, but I enjoyed that. It's a very strong color scheme. This sim loves their flowers. And uh, I thought that was really fun. I think the gardening skill and like the flower arranging skill in the game are fun ones to play around with. So. That was, of course, a blast and uh, just adding a little TV in here if your Sims do want to watch a little bit of television. I have trouble not adding a TV in houses because I just feel like that's a huge source of like fun for your Sims as they sit down and watch TV. There's other things they can do, but for some reason that always has been the thing my Sims always go to first. So it's hard for me not to add TVs in places. I will occasionally not. I think I posted, yeah, I think the other build I posted with this kit, the Maximalist Apartment, I don't think I put a TV in that one, but generally speaking, my builds tend to have TVs in them because my Sims like them. I don't personally watch a ton of TV. I'm on my computer more playing games, but I guess games, some of them you need a TV for. I, I, I have a capture card for streaming, so I tend to just like, play my switch on my pc as well but anyway uh just getting a mirror up above here and a couple of more paintings i really wanted the walls to be covered in all sorts of decor i think that added to the eclectic look and then i end up getting another hanging plant over here i just love the hanging plants in the game it took us years to get them our first one being the one from paranormal that i hung in the kitchen and then we got this one from the um the blooming room sky actually our first ones were with nifty knitting i'm wrong 
But those are like craftable ones or ones you need to use cheats to access. The first one in the regular catalog was the paranormal one. Unless you count the like succulents that hang on the wall that came with Tiny Living. But I- I'm more so talking about the ones that hang from the ceiling. Anyway, upstairs we got some more floral on floral. I, I could not speak. We have some more floral on floral. That is not surprising, I don't think. Uh, combining this same wallpaper with this beautiful bed from Cottage Living. Here's that little staircase I had mentioned that I used to cover the pergola that is clipping into the house. Obviously, it clips a little bit on either side, but that entire area was just (laughs) pergola. So I did raise that up and I thought about just putting some decorative pots up here, but I ended up changing that out in a moment here. You'll see that you can actually shape a plant up there which is an item I always forget we have that you can like cut it down to different shapes. And that was a suggestion from chat. So I ended up putting that out there and up on this balcony, it just ends up being a yoga, a yoga mat and a couple of planters. And that's pretty much it for out here. I think, do I add anything else out there? I don't think so. I am pretty sure I was trying to put this outside and it looks so out of place. So I ended up putting it in here instead and I'm just rearranging this to make sure that your sims should be able to use it. And then the last thing we have to do is the bathroom, which is pink and green and very over the top. And it's probably, (laughs) it's just a lot to look at. The green compared to the green floors with the pink walls and it's like gold mirror. It's just a lot, but I really enjoyed it. And this build was so much fun. So I really hope you enjoyed this as well. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think of the kit. Is there anything else you would like to see? I don't have any other kit specific builds planned, but if you have any fun ideas, do let me know. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that bell to be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye everyone. (laughs) 